Internet Invention and Its Alteration by David Whaley, Sr. Um, when I was presented with the project from Dr. Cynthia Haynes of altering a book, uh, I immediately thought of Internet Invention. And the reason I thought of Internet Invention is because of the fact the book itself says literacy to literacy. And I wanted to show some form of fashion of how you can have that visually present of taking a book from literacy to literacy. So immediately I thought about the little image um, that was a, a little white square box and I wanted to put that in a 3D effect. So I actually cut that out from the actual book, put it together in a way that it would give an aura to it uh, from the finished product. And that aura would be displayed in an electrical blue light. I used electrical LED tape to symbolize the transmission of literacy, the actual print and text, transferring into energy um, that will be electrically transmitted into um, today's current technology. And what I use to represent today's current technology is naturally the cell phone, which is what everyone used. But I wanted to cut different windows in which to give people the opportunity to see that there's many perspectives in which literacy and literature can be utilized um, as like a gateway or, or, or a pictorial uh, display of what is already present in literature as it transcends into the utilization of technology. See, to me, the LED lights are represented by the actual literature changing into uh, an electrical currency that is stimulating the actual cell phones. But at the same time, I also wanted to show that that window allows for this energy, this transmission of technology to feed back into the book itself. Um, the LED tape, I didn't want it to be something that just was about literature transforming because I felt as I read Internet Invention, I felt I transformed. I felt it gave activities and it gave lessons that allowed me to transcend myself um, into this energy, into the utilization of technology, from utilizing the phones to utilizing, going back and utilizing the book. There were many different avenues in which this reciprocal effect of coming and going, taking knowledge and energy back to the book and bringing it back from the book into technology. And I wanted to point that out because that's where I felt the wide image for me was transcending far past what Gregory Omer, the author of the book, um, intended. I myself felt like I was being transformed, which gave me the impression that the book itself was alive. It evolved as I evolved. Every time I go back to reading a different section and applying the lessons, I was immediately brought to a point where I was looking at myself differently and looking at the actual literature and my utilization of technology in the literature differently. So these various windows and perspectives were meant in my creation of the alteration of the book to give anyone who viewed this project the opportunity to see that there are so many different avenues in which technology and literature go hand in hand. The book to me was represented by an altar itself because it's something where um, I think about spiritually and I think about my church, the altar was the place where uh, in a Catholic religion you'd have uh, the transformation of the bread and the wine into actual the blood uh, and the body of Christ. And I felt like I wanted to create an altar where you can see the actual transformation, the, the actual offering up and the reciprocal effect of the book and the actual technology, you see them obtain a certain life within themselves. And that was one of the things that I epically wanted to make sure happen was I wanted to um, embody that and I wanted that embodiment to be seen in my work. And so that whole idea of having the LED tape, the book itself and technology correlating as one unit was something that I was glad to try to paint a picture of. And I hope everyone enjoyed it. I enjoyed creating, I enjoyed video and taping it. And that was my alteration of internet invention.